us a sneak peek into our experts' homes today. So here with tips on how she gets her closet ready for the week is Alexis Hans. Hey Mary, welcome home. Today I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you a tour of my closet and how I plan my outfits for the week. Follow me, let's get started. Okay, now is the time. I'm gonna show you my favorite space in the house, my closet. One organization tip that I always do is I hang like items together. So my skirts are with the skirts, the pants are with the pants, and I keep them all in their color palette. A really cool product that I love to use is shelf dividers. When you fold things, a lot of times you're pulling something out, things can topple over, and that's how your closet gets messy. So if you use a shelf divider, it actually just keeps all your folded categories together and looking basically like it would in a store. It's great. You really wanna wear all the clothing in your closet hang all your pieces backwards. And when you get dressed every day, when you pull it out, when you put it back in, hang it the right way. That way you can look up at your hangers so that you can focus on the pieces you're not wearing so that at the end of the season, you actually wear all your clothes. It feels amazing. I love to keep my high heels kind of out of reach actually at the top of my closet. And you cannot forget about creating a little stylus kit for yourself for fashion emergencies that come up. So what I like to keep in here is a little lint roller, some safety pins. You can have double-sided tape, anything that you need that might quick fix a garment in case an issue comes up when getting dressed. I've got everything. I also need a dresser because things gotta be functional. And what I keep in the dresser are my finishing pieces and just the things that I reach for every day. I wanna make it easy and that's what I keep in the dresser. So now that I've showed you how I organize my closet, let me show you how I plan my weekly looks. Okay, so this is how I plan my outfits for the week. First tip is to get a rack. They are not expensive. You can get ones like this one for about $15. And to make sure that I'm wearing all the clothing in my closet and not just wearing the same exact thing, is I make sure that I get like a jean, but I don't do five days of jeans. Then I make sure I do like a dress pant, just so I have variety. Another tip that I love to do is just put all the accessories in a little Ziploc bag with each outfit. So you literally don't have to think in the morning during the week, it'll be all together on the rack easy. Crazy. All right, time to try the outfits on. Let's start with Monday. Okay, so this is my Monday where I'm gonna be shopping all day at the mall. So this is my Tuesday outfit, which is gonna be an office day. This is Wednesday's outfit. I have an event today. So this is my TV outfit for Thursday. This is Friday, it's a work from home outfit. So you had a tour of my closet and you saw how I put my weekly outfits together. Thank you so much for coming. You are welcome back anytime. was, I think her pulse is going through the roof. Why are you so anxious? You know, it's like when people come over, yeah. you'll be like, you wanna clean everything, but then this is a lot of eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> like my mom's watching, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked we didn't get to see your front porch because you do love your front porch. Oh yeah, I know. I'm yeah. a coffee drinker on the front porch, mm -hmm. not the backyard. I'm mm -hmm. like, I love it on the front porch, people watching. It's people yeah. watching. And also seeing the dogs, which lawn they pee on. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and life hacks, we've got them all. <laughs> all right, now today you're gonna show us how we can create kind of multiple looks using something that I know you say is a staple. Yeah, well I like to call in my closet, I have key pieces, mm -hmm. so those are the silhouettes that we like go to time and time again. Maybe you're a wide leg dress pant kind of person. Mm -hmm. So I want to show the maxi skirt, so I'm Ooh. wearing one today too. Nice. They've been in like on trend for about two seasons now or more. They're going nowhere. Yeah. And I wanted to show it today because typically people think they're silky, they're long, they're only dressy. And they actually can be worn for like pretty much everything. I wear it with like a sweatshirt on the weekend and a sneaker and I go out for brunch. So it really is a great versatile piece. I wanna show everybody. Okay, I'm excited to see this. Yeah. All right, so first up, we're gonna check out Alice, showing us a little something trendy. Come Very on out, Alice. Trendy. Let's start with something trendy and something 
that we see on Instagram a lot right now mm -hmm. is with the Silks Maxi Skirts mixed with graphic oversized tees. Mm -hmm. So first thing, which is really fun, is that t-shirts are not being tucked in as much anymore. This is, so, this is wild for me. This is yeah. wild. <laughs> I think we've did about 10 years of like, you must tuck in your t-shirt, yeah. show off that waist. And I think people are like, no, let's get some versatility with our look. So mm -hmm. an untucked oversized t-shirt. If you don't like a t-shirt, you want to dress it up, you can do this with like an oversized button up. So you get a little bit more of a polished look to it. Mm -hmm. So you can still do the silhouette. T-shirts from Zara, and then I wanted to show, this is um, from Anthropology. so that's the same skirt I'm wearing. Oh. If you have a longer leg, Anthropology, it's about $108. It is the best one on the market that I found, yeah. so it's a really good value. Um, it just flows really beautifully, okay? Mm -hmm. But you will see some other brands, because it's good to shop around. Mm -hmm. And then, just to finish it off, to make it kind of Instagram friendly, and also just make more fun this in the outfit, yeah. a glossy red ballet flat. Those are so cute another trendy piece for the season. Red is really big right now. Oh. So you can still wear your black all head to toe and put a red shoe and you look really cool. Or, or like us, a red lip. Or a red lip. <laughs> We're good. Watch it out, Ruby Woo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'm finishing it off with a Canadian Zara. This is actually a vegan bag. So oh, just cool. mixing in those colors, since you are wearing black, it's nice to add in a lot of pop of color. This is by Aik, which is a Canadian label, female founded. Nice. And these, yeah, it's vegan leather. It's really beautiful. And this is part of their Barbie collection. So it's kind of having a moment right now. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Alex. You look great. Yeah, and just roll up the sleeves if they're too long, make it look cool, style it up, and make it your own. I love that, Alice. Thanks so much. <laughs> very trendy, very, very trendy. cute. Yeah, very All right, trendy. now as we move kind of towards the cooler months, you're going to show us a kind of fall look on Karen. Come on yeah, out. Let's do it. This is very cute. It's sweater weather. Sweater weather. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> basically wait all year to say that. Yeah. So what I love, love, love with mixing silky materials is to add in a lot of texture, and you can do that with knitwear for fall. Mm -hmm. Now, I picked a really graphic one. You do not have to go graphic. You go neutral as well. But I love this one's from Marshalls. It's just a black and white stripe. But there's also extra details. Like, if you lean forward on your other shoulder there, Karen, there's, like, little gold. Other one there. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll find it. Little beautiful details. It's got, like, a balloon sleeve as well. Mm. So, but it's still tight at the wrist. So you can have a lot of volume, but it's going to be controlled. It's not going to oh, wear you. You'll mm -hmm. still be wearing it. That's kind of really important when you have volume. And then instead of doing, like, a front tuck, if you ever tried doing just a side tuck, oh. it still drapes nicely over your midsection, so you still get coverage. Yeah. Because sometimes that front tuck is a little too much for a lot of people. Yeah, totally. Um, and it actually kind of creates a nice diagonal, diagonal line, and it actually lengthens her. So this skirt is from Zara. Okay. Another great find. It's shorter. So if you're more on the petite side, Zara has this under $50. It's a great price. Mm -hmm. And then a heavy sweater kind of needs like a heavier boot. So this with a ballet flat might like kind of throw you off balance a little bit mm -hmm. visually. So I love these. These are from Marshalls as well. And the cowboy boot. Is so it? fun. Are yeah. cowboy boots back? Cowboy boots are back. Oof. And you don't have to wear the traditional way with denim or something that you think of. Yeah. You can actually just mix it in and make it part of your style, which is so important with trends. Yeah. If you had denim head to toe here, a lot of people would be like, well, no. It'd be a little like um, I don't Britney want to try Spears. It. That, you, know the, you know the look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this one that's black rather than brown, all of a sudden makes it more modern, and then just a nice oversized bag from H&M to finish the look. Absolutely beautiful, Karen. Thank you so much. Oh, that was stunning. Now, finally, you've got a little bit of a timeless look on Candace. Yeah. Come on out. And something people wear to work, let's say, so mm -hmm. just to show different options. So this I found yesterday, actually, at H&M. It's like a suede trench. So cute. Sometimes the classic cotton ones can be a little boxy, and they really have to soften up over time. Mm -hmm. So if you like a more effortless look, like having a little structure in the suede trench is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're cool tone, I love a lighter tan that you're seeing here. But if you're warmer tone and you like golds and stuff, go for like almost like a caramel brown okay. color when you're buying these things. That'll complement your skin tone. And then underneath, keeping it really classic but still interesting. So instead of a plain sweater with no detail, this has a little cable knit to it. Little tiny buttons up the front as well, too. Did you do something crazy with the buttons? Well, we were trying to do a I lot. like it. Yeah, we saw this on Instagram, how to shorten it one way without tucking it in. So you actually don't add any bulk to That's... the skirt, but you just flip it up under and you actually do up the button underneath as well too. <gasps> Whoa. We'll have to do a hack on yeah, that. Yeah, that's one day a for future everybody. segment. Yeah. And this is the Zara skirt again. So even though she's got she's got a nice height to her, so try on those different maxi skirts to find your perfect one or you can mm -hmm. alter it. As long as it goes mid calf or longer, you're gonna get the look right. Mm -hmm. um, and then just finish it off. Again, we're going classic but interesting with an Aldo bag and then winner's pumps here with a little bit of lace. You're seeing a lot of texture. Whenever you're wearing silk stuff, it's really add in a ton of texture. You can't go wrong because that lace and that bow on the side is really beautiful. Oh my gosh, Candace. You look beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Alexis, fantastic work. Let's take a look at all these three looks 
together. Look at this. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Great job, ladies. Alexis, as per usual, Thank so you. cute. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.